Today's episode was inspired by the comments and the media coverage of Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend, which for me served as a reminder that contending with the intersection of money, power, societal norms, and expectations is a drama everyone has to navigate. Hello, 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 and welcome to More Than Money, a podcast where we have nuanced conversations about money, business, and life, where we take the time to explore the human side of money because success with money is never just about the numbers. I'm your host, Jacquette Timmons, and I am really, really glad that you are joining me today. And before we get into today's episode, I want to remind you again that I am so excited to be offering this summer half-day VIP strategy and coaching sessions. And this is ideal if you are an entrepreneur or small business owner and you are short on time, but you want to get the benefits of one-on-one coaching, but you're not quite ready for the commitment of a six-month engagement. You want to fast track results because you are co-creating your game plan rather than waiting for the perfect time to do it on your own. And you want an outside perspective on your business and your personal finances. And you want that from me, someone with a deep understanding and background with helping a broad spectrum of entrepreneurs and small business owners navigate complex financial and business decisions. And not only that, you want to jumpstart a reset so that you can finish the year strong. We'll spend three hours together doing a total of four analyses, a spending analysis, an investing analysis, a revenue analysis, and an analysis of your offers and pricing. And we'll use the insight or the results from that to prepare a customized roadmap slash game plan for the months ahead. So to learn more on how we will get you that sovereignty and that momentum so that you can finish the year strong or stronger, send me a DM on Instagram and simply say VIP, and then we will get you a link to schedule a complimentary call so that you can get all of the details and make a decision then. In the meantime, let's dive into today's show. So on the night that it happened, I was up way past my bedtime, scrolling Twitter and just completely absorbed in someone else's drama. That night, it was all over Twitter. But by the next day, (laughs) the situation was a headline on CNN, Yahoo, MSNBC, Forbes, the Los Angeles Times and other media outlets. A week later, it is still in the news. What is that itch of wit it of which I speak, right? It's Kiki Palmer who wore a bodysuit under a sheer dress at the Usher concert in Las Vegas. And let's just say that her boyfriend, with whom she shares a baby, a five-month-old son, did not approve. Now, for the record, I thought she looked gorgeous. While her outfit was more revealing than anything I would ever wear, I thought she looked amazing. And while I do not believe that a man should ever tell a woman what she can or cannot wear, her boyfriend, well, he's entitled to his feelings. Personally, I just felt that he should have shared them with her privately, not on Twitter and Instagram. But here's why I do appreciate his comments, because they sparked all sorts of commentary and I was sucked in. My fascination had less to do with whether his comments were a red flag about their relationship. Because as a really good friend of mine always reminds me, every couple has an understanding and their understanding is none of my business. Rather, I was completely captivated by how the reaction to his comments were really an exposition about money, power, societal norms, and expectations, especially when you layer on the fact that as a well-known actor, musician, and entrepreneur, she is the breadwinner in their relationship. And it is this intersection of all of this, that is the drama that really sucked me in. 
or more precisely, the reminder that this intersection doesn't just apply to quote unquote them. Kiki is a high profile celebrity with a net worth of several million dollars. I think it's about seven and a half or $8 million if Google is accurate. And so coverage of situations like this by traditional media and social media can make it easy to relegate the need to navigate this intersection to something that other people have to deal with. But here's the truth. Contending with the intersection of money, power, societal norms, and expectations, that is a drama that you and I have to navigate too. And we have to navigate it daily as well. It's a universal experience. And it's another reason why I say money is never just about the numbers. And guess what financial statement provides a bit of insight into how this intersection is playing out in your business and your life. Drum roll, it's your income statement. Like I said in a video that I recently posted on social media, you can find it pinned on my Instagram. Your income statement isn't simply an accounting of money coming in and money going out. Mainly because I don't just see numbers when I review an income statement. To me, it's like a crystal ball, one that provides a variety of clues regarding your spending patterns and priorities. Um, it speaks to how you go about making decisions. And it also reflects whether you are maximizing your opportunities to increase your cash flow and whether you feel good about what you're getting for the money that you are spending. And that's just on the surface. Dig a little bit deeper and it can show even more. Like how much power you have to really do what you want to do, when you want to do it, and how you want to do it. So in other words, do you have as much control, influence, and access as you want or need? Money is symbolic and it carries with it many meanings that extend beyond its functionality. So it can also show the it being your income statement, it can also show the societal norms that you embrace, some of which have been shaped by your family and culture, others by your social and professional circles, also by what's happening in the economy more broadly. And then also the way in which you make choices that are a reflection of the consequences that you are currently living out based on past choices. When you look at your income statement, what does it reveal about your values, beliefs, and behavior? And also, what about your attitude toward work and financial success? Here's something else that your income statement can give you some insight into. Your expectations. Your own expectations regarding what you want money to do for you um, and the, the degree to which that you are likely carrying the weight of others' expectations too. Your income statement puts a spotlight on all of this. And so my question for you right now is, do you have high expectations of having financial success or more of it? And is this reflected in how you save, invest, spend, and earn money? And what is your income statement telling you with regard to all of that? Now, the end of June was really rough when we think about some of the latest SCOTUS decisions. So maybe we needed a slow news cycle that led to even the Washington Post weighing in and reporting on the drama between Kiki and her boyfriend. But traveling down the rabbit hole of reading as much commentary on his post as I did, I am reminded of a few things. Zoom out. And what you realize is that people's reactions to one thing is often a reaction to something much broader. Meaning, this wasn't just about them. This was about every woman who is in a relationship where she earns more and her partner feels disempowered by that fact, while simultaneously benefiting from it too. 
This was about autonomy and agency and who gets to have it and who gets to exercise it. This was a reminder for us all. When you find yourself stargazing, whether it is regarding a high profile celebrity or that peer who is doing something incredibly well, remember, and I don't say this in a mean snarky kind of way, but remember, mind your business. Meaning, focus on what you have, focus on what you want and need, and focus on what are you willing to do for what it is that you want and need. And one way to focus on your own financial affairs is to pay attention to both the numbers and what's behind the numbers vis-a-vis -vis your income statement. And if you need to explore this, well then let's explore working together if you need help with that. And before I hop, here's one more reminder that we can take from Kiki and her boyfriend in terms of what they've given us by way of this commentary and social media coverage. The intersection of money, power, societal norms and expectations, that is prevalent at all times. We simply tend to pay more attention to this concatenation when times are challenging, but they are just as present during times of growth too. Well, that is it for today, folks. Thank you so much as always for listening all the way until the end. And if you are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for doing that as well. And before you hop, if today's episode sparked an aha or a reflection, I'd love to know that. So send me a DM on Instagram and share it. And remember to go on ahead and book that complimentary discovery call. If you are less than satisfied with your revenue goal and, and your revenue to date, if you're feeling a little about your marketing and you're spending a lot of time, you know, filling costly holes in your operations and you're curious, how might a half day VIP coaching and strategy session help you, help you get a jump start for a reset? So once more, thank you for listening today. And if you would love to show appreciation for this episode or this podcast overall, please share it so that we can reach more people. If you happen to be listening on Apple Podcasts and you've yet to leave a rating and review, please take a moment to do that. We do read them. And if you are watching on YouTube, again, thank you for that. And please comment below too. And as always, if you'd like to buy me a coffee, here's how you can do that. Go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash jaquette, buymeacoffee.com forward slash jaquette. I'll be back with another episode and I hope you will too. Until then, remember, it's about more than money. <laughs>